now onto a game called Helping Hands. This is for Ryan and Greg. If you'd like to come down, they've got to act using these, these magnificent props and tables which have magically appeared. But to help out Ryan, Colin is providing the hands for him to use so he can uh, save his hands for other purposes, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> now, the idea of this, Ryan, you're going out on a date. Uh, and um, Greg is a kind of a housemate or something, and you're trying to help him or you know, help him prepare to go out on the date. Now, uh, Francois, I realize you're new to the country here and you've never actually gone out for a date, so perhaps you can watch and learn something. Hello, beautiful man. Hello. <laughs> you know, I've got a very heavy one tonight, uh, Greg, and quite Is this Deborah? The, the... Deborah? Yes, it is Deborah. Debbie. Yes, it is Deborah. <laughs> Maybe you better try a little after shave. After shave, shave you yes, bet. I'm not even going to wait to shave. I'm just going to splish him. Oh, no, my no. God. Do oh, I my... smell like a rose garden? Oh, do I? Do I ever? Tusk? You know, Greg, oh, <laughs> always important, Greg, to you... grab a cup and rinse out before you brush. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let the forget about him. Now, just grab the toothpaste, the toothbrush, and the toothbrush. toothbrush. I always use the the brand that keeps away the tartar from the teeth. Of the little, little bits of tartar that gets between the teeth here. You can see right between the teeth. Yes. Which is all good. All right, Greg. Always important to put a lot on, Greg. Make sure you have enough to cover everything. Oh, yes, exactly. In the Yes, it is. I see I have, here, 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 I see by the mirror here that I have just a dab of toothpaste on me. <laughs> I got her, I got her. <laughs> hey, let's take one more look. The Captain Hatch set sail, ships ahoy, look out, Deborah. Okay, that's right. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Well. That's, I think that's the best game we've played this evening, so three and three-quarter points, everyone. Now we go on to a game called Superheroes. This is for all four contestants. But first of all, Greg, if you'd like to come down. Now we're going to make uh, Greg into uh, a, a superhero. We'll give him a special quality in a minute. And he'll be joined by the, each other's in turn. He'll nominate what sort of superhero the next person will be, and so on down the line. Then they have to solve a problem and then go away uh, back in the reverse order of the one they came in. That's simple to understand, isn't it? <laughs> now, um, so what sort of superhero do you think Greg is? He can't be Superman or... <laughs> junk man. Junk man. So you're junk man. OK? We want a crisis that he's got a, some crisis facing the world or some problem he's got to solve. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> So, junk, junk Man has got to solve English television's problem. Uh, so, so it's, it's perfectly obvious. It's perfectly obvious that Junk Man would just turn into American television. But uh, there we go. Oh, that's one to get the crowd on my side, isn't it? Bad call, home yeah. slice. <laughs> oh, well. um, so, they are Junk Man solving the problem of English television. Right. <laughs> I know there's a crisis somewhere. I better turn on my world vision crisis monitor just to see what that is. Oh, my God, look what they're watching. England, this is crap. Uh, I hope some of my superhero friends show up soon. I, I'm going to need help to solve this crisis. Sorry, I'm late. The buses weren't running. Uh, sorry. Watch the floor. I got stuff everywhere. Thanks for coming, hyperactive man. Oh, yeah, well, the buses weren't running, so I, uh, I jogged all the way, you know? Yeah. I need the exercise. Don't get me wrong. I need the exercise. It's good for you. It's good for you. Get the bones going. English television. Oh, my God, English television. <laughs> as soon as I could. Oh, oh, thank God you're here, cliche boy. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but better late than never. Oh, you better. You better. They take the television. They take the television. Oh, God, we got a crisis going on here. Oh, big crisis, a big crisis. Oh, God. You're looking fit as a fiddle. <laughs> Sorry, 
I'm late. Why, it's Captain Poultry. English television is utter crap. Thousands of Englishmen are waiting for American programs. What can we do? I better go over there and pick all their cameras into submission. Perfect. Uh, it's the best I can think of. <laughs> Take it off. Look at that. It's poultry in motion. Did you see that? Birds of a feather flock together. You oh, <laughs> see, you, see you in two shakes of limbs, Tom. Right, right, oh, man. Careful of those garbage bags. Uh, uh, hey, we gotta do something about this. Why don't I run over to England real quick? I can do it maybe an hour or so. Yeah, we can hire some new actors to help out the English Tully. They see him, they're nice. Watch out for the cardboard okay. box. Be careful of that garbage, that's mine. <laughs> Well, another crisis handled wonderfully. I think I'll go visit my friend Snackmeister General and see if Buffet Man has arrived. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Very good. And uh, that... That, sad to say, is the very last game we're playing this evening. And, yes, sad it is, isn't it? But adding up the points, I see that Colin Mockery is this week's winner. <laughs> Really shouldn't. Uh, oh. a, pop a popular winner on this night with all the Mockery family in, in the audience. Uh, but the prize of winning, uh, Colin, uh, cousin Colin, is for you to read the credits in a style of my choosing. And can you do it in the style of somebody making as many faces as possible? So it just remains for me to thank Greg Proops, Ryan Stiles, Colin Mockery, Brad Sherwood, Richard Ranch at the piano. It's me, Clive Allison, saying good night. Good night. <laughs> Come Look at it! Look right up my nose! Right up! <laughs>